Hi, and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that will be linked with a January transfer move to Arsenal. Um, starting off with uh, these rumours about Arsenal trying to get in a defensive midfielder. Now, obviously, every Arsenal fan, we sit every game and we pray, you know, and we say, please, do not let nothing happen to Thomas Partey, right? Because... We don't have, you know, a player like him in the team. We need a defensive midfielder. Well, actually, the backup to him is Mohamed Elneny and he has done decently when he has stepped in, although he's not the same level as a Thomas Partey. He never lets Arsenal down. Well, he's injured at the moment and there's a lot of rumours going around that the injury to Mohamed Elneny may be worse than Arsenal first four. I feel really sorry for him. He's had a... A real injury hit season, Mohamed Elneny. Um, and that is why Arsenal apparently are trying our hardest to try to bring in a defensive midfielder before the January transfer window closes. Now, I spoke about this guy, Martin um, Zubamendi, um, and that we've been linked with him. Uh, Zubamendi from Rio Sociedad. Arsenal, as I said a couple of days ago, were willing to meet his £53 million release clause um, but the player himself said he doesn't want to leave Rio Sociedad now. He doesn't want to leave until the end of the season. So that was the situation on that. I also said a couple of days ago that um, there's a lot of talk that Arsenal, you know, that that's not dead. They could go back in for him. There could be a change of um, heart by him before the end of the transfer window. And Arsenal would still be interested in him. And is the, the need for this because of the injury to Mohamed Elneny. Um, Arsenal not the only club interested in him, by the way. Uh, Barcelona said to be interested in his signature as well. Um, of course, they need to replace uh, Sergio Busquets and they're looking at Zubimendi as the perfect replacement. Now, if, listen, if he's anything in that sort of category of a, a Busquets, then, you know, that's a top quality player. But Zuma Mendy um, continued to be linked with Arsenal today to try and fill that defensive midfielder position. Another player that emerged yesterday as um, a candidate for that position is Amadou Anana of Everton. Now, we were heavily, heavily linked to Anana in the summer. And um, in the end, it didn't materialise and he ended up going to Everton for around about £30 million. And in the games that I've seen him play for Everton, he's always looked very good. He's he's very imposing. I mean, he's huge. He must be about six foot four, six foot five, but he gets around the pitch well, really does look a t like a really talented player. Still only 21, Belgium international. He's playing at the World Cup. Um... But there's a lot of rumours coming out that um, Arsenal are interested in signing him. And indeed, they have made an approach to Everton to find out about his availability. Now, we all know the problems that Everton have at the moment. I mean, there was rumours yesterday that the owner put the club up for sale, um, which he's come out today and denied. He said, listen, now I'm trying to bring in investment. But they're in a lot of trouble at the moment. They're right down the bottom of the league, second from bottom, only on goal difference. Um, they got gazumped yesterday for Arnott Donjuma, who was uh, done a medical at Everton, all set to, you know, get everything done. And, you know, apparently they even taken pictures in Everton kit and ended up going to Tottenham and signing for them Instead, he must be crazy, but ended up going and signing for them instead. So they've been gazumped on the, the Danjuma deal. Uh, another one of their players, Gordon, um, looks like he's on his way out. He could be heading to Newcastle or Chelsea. And he's one of their, you know, real star players from last season. It it's really is a mess at Everton. Now, could Arsenal tempt Anana away in the midst of all this chaos? Or... Would it be just be a step too far after, you know, I mean, there's only so much these Everton fans can go through. If Anana moves on as well, I mean, you know, they, <laughs> you started to talk about revolts down there. You know what I mean? They're going to be very, very angry. They're already very angry. But if they were to lose Anana, who's one of the only bright sparks in that team, um, would, you know, those fans lose it? Now, as I said, they only bought him last summer. They paid 30 million for him. And this could be, 
a possibility why it may, you never know it could happen. Arsenal have been quoted 50 million, according to some of the rumours that are going out there, for him. Now, obviously, that would represent a straight profit of £20 million for Everton, and they're in a lot of trouble at the moment. I, I'd be really surprised to see this one happen. I have to be honest. I mean, it would be a good backup to Thomas Partey. I really do feel that. But I'd be surprised. I really would be surprised if this one happened. And then the other thing is as well, I mean, we were being told yesterday, links with Moses uh, Casillo of um, Brighton, that's not going to happen to all you know, well, when I say that's not going to happen, he's not going to move until the summer. I don't think there's any way Brighton, unless they get an unbelievably ridiculous offer through, which with Chelsea around, they could get and that Chelsea are interested. I don't think he's going to move till the summer. Um, and then there's also the Declan Rice rumours for Arsenal. You know what I mean? Uh, we, we've been told that Arsenal priority number one in the summer is Declan Rice. So if you bring in a defensive midfielder now, what does that do to that Declan Rice situation? Or are Arsenal looking at it and saying, well, listen, we can play Declan Rice in various different positions like the Granite Xhaka position, for instance. So it's going to be interesting to see what Arsenal do before the end of the transfer window. And if that is true, that that injury to Mohamed Elneny is more serious than first thought that's going to keep him out for quite a long time, well, that that's, you know, they may have to act before the end of the transfer window. So we keep an eye on that one. I'm um, being linked as well today with uh, Federico Chiesa of Juventus. Now, Chiesa is uh, one of the players I love watching. This guy, a couple of seasons ago, absolutely flying. Um, he's got pace, he's got trickery, and he's got end product as well. He creates assists, he scores goals. And according to uh, Calcio Mercato Webb, Arsenal have registered an interest in signing Federico Chiesa. Now, the only problem with Chiesa is that the last couple of seasons have been injury hit. Um, he suffered a, a anterior cruciate ligament injury that's kept him out for quite a long time. He's only just sort of come back um, last season and he's still feeling his way back. He's still not a regular in that Juventus side. Um, but as I said before that, I mean... I think signing him would have been out of the question. Now, again, is this another one of those um, ones that you look at and say the possibility may arise because of the chaos at Juventus? As I've said on the show a few times now, docked 15 points. Um, you know, their board have all resigned. I mean, it's a club in turmoil at the moment. Looks like they won't get Champions League um, next season. So again, players like a Chiesa could be vulnerable. I think no chance for January, but you never know. Maybe in the summer, he's valued at around about 60 million. Could be more, could be a little less because, as I said, of that injury record that he's had in recent seasons. But 25 now, still in his prime, plays on the right wing, an absolute class player. I would not be against a bit of Chiesa, but I can't see that in January for sure. Maybe... It's one of the ones we'll be talking about um, in the summer. And obviously, there'll be other clubs in for him. I mean, in the past, Real Madrid have been one of those clubs that have been um, looking at Chiesa. No doubt our old friends Chelsea will be lurking around as well. Now, Ivan uh, Fresnida, again, we start to talk about this one each and every day. The, all of the reports out there is that he's got a decision to make now. It's boiled down to two teams, Arsenal or Borussia Dortmund. Reports saying that Borussia Dortmund are actually a bit ahead of us. Um, for his signature, for the mere fact that um, he's looking at Dortmund and he's seeing a clearer pathway to first-team football. Still only 18. If he comes into Arsenal, remember, Ben White's ahead of him. Tommy Asu's ahead of him. He's definitely going to be a player bought in for the future. The talk was Arsenal would uh, buy him and then loan him straight back to Rio via Valid. Again, it's going to be down to his decision. Arsenal definitely interested in him, but it's going to be down to him where he decides to go um, deal will probably be around about £13 million for the right back. But let's see what happens with that. And finally, Cedric is finally look, looks like he's going to be on the move. A deal has now been agreed, um, has been reported everywhere between Cedric, Arsenal and Fulham. Um, he's going to go on loan to Fulham from now until the end of the season. Fulham will pay all of his wages. He's said to be on around about £75,000 a week. So Fulham will pay all of his wages and he'll become a Fulham player. 
but the loan will only be until the end of the season. I was looking at his contract. His contract runs out in uh, 2024. So that means he'll return back to Arsenal at the end of that loan. Still will have a year left and, you know, Arsenal going to have to make a decision on what happens with him. Um, but there'll be no obligation to buy within that contract. We know that there's been sticking points over his wages. This allows him to get his full wages Go and play football as well because, you know, he's just not getting any game time at Arsenal. And, um, yeah, um, Cedric looks like he's going to be on the way out. It, you know, it appeals to him to go and work with Marco Silva as well. So, um, good luck to Cedric um, once that all gets sorted. But that looks like that's done now. And Cedric will be leaving um, Arsenal to go and join um, Fulham. Listen, thanks for watching the show today. Don't forget to check out all of our content previewing the game on Friday night remember Arsenal versus Manchester City in the FA Cup we've got previews coming out a lot of them are going to start dropping from tomorrow I think Box of Box is already out also check out Forever Arsenal podcast um, it's brilliant this week uh, the guys are on great form so make sure you check that one out um, and don't forget to subscribe subscribe here um, at AFTV you can get all your notifications for transfer daily thanks for watching the show and I'll see you tomorrow Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.